Hello, my name is Joe Resta. I'm the Executive Director of the Delaware River Joint Toll Bridge Commission. We're making final preparations for the Scudder Falls Bridge Replacement Project. This comprehensive project, currently in final design, will also improve the bridge's associated approach roadways and interchanges. The existing bridge is experiencing roadway and structural deterioration. It does not meet current design criteria, presenting a future reliability and safety concern. The bridge's structural design is the same as the I-95 Minus River Bridge that collapsed in Connecticut more than 30 years ago. Measures were taken to prevent a similar catastrophic collapse at the Scudder Falls Bridge, but smaller structural failures could still leave the bridge impassable for traffic. Safety is a primary project design objective. More than 100 accidents a year occur in the project area. Nearly half are rear-end collisions. A lack of adequate acceleration and deceleration lanes at the bridge's nearby interchanges is a major cause of these accidents. Insufficient spacing between ramp mergers near the bridge is another contributing factor. When major accidents occur, gridlock can arise because the current bridge lacks inside and outside shoulders. This hinders responses to accidents and emergencies, causing further congestion and travel delays. Lastly, traffic congestion is a major concern. The volume of vehicles using the bridge and its adjoining feeder segments during peak commuting periods regularly exceeds available capacity. This causes frequent peak period backups and travel delays. Making matters worse, traffic volumes are projected to grow in the years ahead. Due to its design, the bridge cannot be widened to meet current or future volumes. The video you are about to watch outlines our plans for modernizing and improving this busy segment of I-95 between New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Thank you for your interest in this important regional transportation project. The Scudder Falls Bridge is a heavily congested, accident-prone Delaware River commuter crossing connecting Mercer County, New Jersey with Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Built in 1959, the bridge is now classified as functionally obsolete due to capacity limitations, poor roadway geometry, and safety concerns. The bridge is nearing the end of its useful lifespan. It now carries an average of about 59,000 vehicles per day, far more than it was designed to handle. The Delaware River Joint Toll Bridge Commission is advancing a comprehensive project to replace the bridge with a modern structure while addressing deficiencies at its adjoining interchanges and approach roadways. Overall, the project will make 4.4 miles of improvements along the I-95 corridor between the Route 332 interchange in Pennsylvania and the Bear Tavern Road interchange in New Jersey. A new dual-span bridge will be built to carry three through traffic lanes in each direction. Each span will have auxiliary lanes to provide for safer merges of traffic entering and exiting at the bridge's flanking interchanges. In Pennsylvania, both directions of I-95 will be widened to the inside south of the bridge. A reconfigured Taylorsville Road interchange will feature a relocated I-95 southbound exit lane immediately after crossing Taylorsville Road. In New Jersey, the Route 29 interchange will be fully redesigned and reconstructed with roundabouts a design that will avoid traffic signals to improve traffic flow getting on and off the bridge. Drainage and roadway improvements will be made to the I-95 segment north of the bridge. Pedestrians and bicyclists will benefit as a shared-use path will be constructed along the replacement bridge's upstream span, connecting the canal towpaths in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. The bridge also is being designed to handle future bus rapid transit routes Environmental factors are a key consideration in the project's design, scheduling, and construction. For example, some construction activities will be timed to mitigate interference with Atlantic and short-nosed sturgeon spawning periods and the Indiana bat foraging season. An alternate nesting site for peregrine falcons will be installed to protect them from the bridge work. And stormwater management basins will be constructed to control runoff into the river. The Bridge Commission is working closely with state park agencies to develop compatible design elements and to safeguard canal towpath users during construction. Work on the multifaceted project will begin after all permits and approvals are secured. If you are a commuter who intends to drive through the project area during construction, there are some things you need to know. First, the project will be built in stages to minimize travel impacts. Second, Traffic will continue moving through the corridor during construction. Third, two-lane travel patterns will be maintained in each respective direction across the Scudder Falls Bridge during peak commuter travel periods. 
The project is expected to enter full construction mode in early 2017 and continue into 2021. However, some construction activities will begin earlier, such as land clearing for noise abatement walls along I-95 in Lower Makefield, Pennsylvania. The first phase of this tree clearing work is scheduled to begin in January 2016 and end by March 2016. Noise wall construction will start in the spring, ending later in the year. A second land clearing phase in the area of the new replacement bridge will then get underway. This work will take place in both New Jersey and Pennsylvania after October 1, 2016, and will include tree cutting along the I-95 right-of-way in New Jersey. Subsequent New Jersey noise wall installation work will be part of the bridge project's main construction contract that is set to get underway in early 2017. To keep the current bridge operational and advance project preparations, a series of activities were conducted during 2015. A series of repairs were made to the bridge's pothole-riddled road surface. These repairs should keep the existing bridge in service until the replacement bridge gets built. Additionally, surveying and soil boring was conducted to provide technical data for the project's design engineers. Once fully underway, the work will involve three major stages. Stage one will involve construction of the new bridge's first span. This structure will carry four vehicular traffic lanes and the pedestrian bicycle pathway. It will be built immediately upstream of the current bridge, which will remain in service during this construction stage. Most of the Route 29 interchange reconstruction work and the Woodside Road, Taylorsville Road intersection improvements will take place at this time. Once the upstream structure is completed, all traffic in both directions will be shifted off the old bridge to this initial new span. At this juncture, the Bridge Commission will commence collecting tolls in this southbound direction only. The toll system will be an overhead gantry outfitted with electronic toll tag readers and video cameras for recording license plate images of vehicles without toll tags. Stage 2 will begin with the demolition of the old Scudder Falls Bridge. This will clear the way for construction of a second new bridge span designed to carry northbound traffic only. A final traffic shift will take place at the end of Stage 2. The initial upstream span will carry only southbound traffic. The second span built downstream will carry only northbound traffic. Stage 3 will soon follow, with northbound and southbound traffic being shifted to the outside lanes so remaining roadwork improvements can be completed in New Jersey. The inside widening work along Pennsylvania's I-95 segment already will have been completed during stages one and two. When completed, the project will enable safer and more efficient travel of motorists and commerce onto, off of, and along the Scudder Falls Bridge Highway Corridor. For more information and future project updates, please visit www.scudderfallsbridge.com.